Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up and a big welcome to all the new subscribers thanks for coming over and hitting that big red button just down there and subscribing and if you hit the notification bell as well then you won't miss any of my future content the content I think now is at quite a good level for me and I'm getting quite used to producing it and editing it and you know I think I'm doing okay you can let me know in the comments if I'm not I want to hear all comments, negative or positive, so do keep them coming, do keep letting me know where I'm going and so on and so forth. Now I recently ran a poll in the community section of this channel and just to find out what sort of content that you wanted and I gave three options. I should have given four really, the fourth one should have been carry on as you are uh, because a couple of people commented that that would have been the option they selected which is great um, but basically the what that poll revealed to me is that you want vegetable gardening which is mostly what I do here with a little bit of other gardening thrown in or a good mix of the two so that will be my aim next year I have got some new equipment that will be hopefully arriving before Christmas so next year is set uh, to be much better as it looks photographically and I'm really excited about that and can't wait because it will make life a lot easier for me at the minute I'm using to record my videos I'm using a DSLR camera on a tripod and a wired microphone you'll see me in many videos wrapping this up and unwrapping it and uh, nearly tripping over it I've pulled the camera over several times to be honest with you it's working and it's making reasonable videos but it's a blooming nightmare and it does take a good while for me to record the videos and that is hampering me in what I am able to produce so I will have a wireless microphone soon you will see people with them there's the little square boxes and you might see them on the lapels or attached to their shirt uh, the Rode wireless mics and I will have a little action camera one of the little hero series cameras and that will be on a grip so that will give me the versatility to move around the plot a bit more um, and to not be tethered to the camera so I'll be able to walk away and grab something at the moment this is this is about my limit from the camera which is about I don't know 15 16 foot so that's coming and again I really can't wait for that because that will make life so much easier and make the quality of the videos that much better enough waffling on with the gardening <laughs> so we're here in the big tunnel this is my main lettuce bed and you can see it's looking in quite a sorry state for itself it has got a little patch of mold on the soil just down there on the uh, towards the right hand side and um, that's been there for some time I haven't dug it out I have I've just wanted to leave it and see what it does because I've never seen that before um, it doesn't seem to be spreading but there does appear to be some botrytis or something in those lettuces that you can see a couple have gone flat and died some of them have um, well you can see that the, some of them aren't looking very healthy the oak leaf here on the left end, hand side on the end is looking really good um, but the rest of them um, I think there's one or two lettuces that I could probably save in there but I'm going to rip out the bad ones I'm going to dig out that mould get rid of it um, because it hasn't increased it hasn't moved any I'm just wondering whether it might have come from the actual timber itself as it's next to it but I don't know I've got one or two other patches of that in the tunnel as well and um, I'll dig that out and move that and, and then we'll get on to um, getting some more um, some more lettuces in really I've got a couple in reserve they're not looking brilliant but they should pick up and I'll have to get busy and get sowing as well um, so there we go that's that's that for now so I've pulled all the affected lettuce out and I've dug out the mould and I've just put that on the compost heap outside to be honest I mean it's a natural occurring thing so no better place for it so what I'm left with is four oak leaves and two winter densities and at the top of the picture there and they appear to be unaffected for the moment um, I've got I've still got a lot more lettuce to use I've got um, 
I'm just looking down the side of the tunnel there. I've got half a dozen amaze lettuce down there and I've got some beetroot leaves I can pick and in the other tunnel some more amaze lettuce and I've got some rocket planted. I've got a couple of lettuce here which I'm going to pot on now and, and fettle. They've just been sat there on the hanging shelf doing absolutely nothing at all. So I'll wake them up, um, either pot them on or put them into the ground and we'll see. Um, I'm just not sure whether I should put them straight back into that ground. So I'll have to have a think about that. I'll go and have a coffee. <laughs> so here I've got a, uh, a tray of uh, seedlings. Got these, they've been in this tray for months, they really have. I mean this parsley I've planted in the little polytunnel and um, I think I've had two harvests off it and it, again it's back up here ready for another go already so that's how long ago these are done but they've got some seedlings in them uh, a few bits of lettuce and uh, this lot's rocket I think um, where red Grenoble failed but I'll rescue some out of this and uh, get them planted on and then in a couple of weeks time, hopefully, I should be able to um, plant them out. I mean, at this stage, really, it's immaterial what variety each of these lettuce is, as long as it's a lettuce. Um, I will be sowing some more. Um, quite a few more, really. I'll be doing some very soon. I'll do some next month. And basically, I just, I don't really stop sowing at all. I don't see the point. Some things will grow, some won't. What have I wasted? Five or ten minutes sowing the seed and a bit of compost which goes back on the compost heap so nothing ventured, nothing gained. So there's another tray. I've already done um, three I think, three or four trays in there and this parsley in here this is I'm just going to break this up into clumps oh that's nicely divided grand and um, these are going to go home and sit on the windowsill in the kitchen I'll grow these on so I've got fresh parsley to pick right next to the stove and for an ex-chef that it doesn't get any better than that really doesn't. You've got fresh herbs to pick at home. That's fantastic. So yeah, I shall just grow those on. No, I think one more will do. And I really, I'll put this back on the hanging shelf, but I probably won't use any more of that because I'm going to have seeds coming through soon. So it's really this time of year where I want to be getting my cut and come agains going because what I like to do is, a, is I like to have one in the greenhouse at home, one or two in the greenhouse at home so that over Christmas, because I don't really come down much over Christmas, um, it just allows me to pick some fresh lettuce and you know you've, <laughs> You're eating to excess over Christmas and you've got all these meats around. You know, we boil a ham every year. We have a ham and we have turkey left over and we're eating that for a week or more. So a couple of slices of that, a bit of salad out of the greenhouse and there's a meal. Nice lazy meal. So that's what I'll be doing. And I might come back, take some more plants out of this. Maybe not. And there's another couple of lettuce in there but I think with what I've done and what I'm going to be sowing I think it'll be enough. So I'm very pleased I kept those spurs just keep them in a tray they're not doing any harm. I've got a full tray of rocket there and a nice mix of lettuce along there. Now what's best of all and I'm really pleased about today is that here my broad beans are coming through and here my sweet peas are as well, so very pleased about that. Excellent. So by having 
plants planted in different areas so I had the lettuce here behind me which is the ones that got hit with the botrytis I've got some more lettuce down there and more lettuce in the other tunnel having them spaced out not putting all your eggs in one basket into one little area it protects you against problems like that I mean I've lost all those lettuces there um, I've still got a couple left um, but and I'm not going to suffer because I've lost them but anyway I've lost them and I've got backups I've got those lettuce down there and those in the small tunnel also with the seedlings I kept on the hanging shelf up there out of the way out of pests way where they won't get eaten I'm able to pot on another I don't know another 25 odd plants plus the rocket so over another 30 plants so I can put them into the ground somewhere else in a couple of weeks time and I'm going to sow some seeds this in the next day or so and they'll come on and then I'll sow some in December and some in January so it's a, it's a continual movement keep things moving and keep just keep making more it doesn't matter if you compost it you've only wasted a few minutes on it just planting the seed or potting them on the compost goes back into the system if it's if it's not used if your plants all die you've not wasted anything so just keep things moving there we go all right that's it for today stay safe everybody look after yourselves and your family and i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow now <laughs>